Okay. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Genetic Support Network of Victoria Volunteer Program, Digital Orientation for 2020. Things are running a little differently this year given the current COVID environment, but we hope that you'll watch this video and be enticed to consider volunteering. The GSNV has been involved in volunteering with support groups and encouraging students and interested people to become volunteers for many, many decades. So there's lots of evidence and we're very, very happy that you might be considering to do a volunteer stint this year. So who are the Genetic Support Network of Victoria? Well, we were established in 1997 in response to a changing health environment, particularly around genetic health, and a broader consumer voice that said that we need more supports to support families and individuals living with rare, undiagnosed and genetic conditions. There was a real flurry of support groups in the late 1990s and the GSNV established as a peak body to coordinate a lot of that activity. We're very proud of that history and we're very proud of the fact that we are Victoria's statewide service and that we follow with genetic services around the state. There's a lot of work around genetic health and there's lots of services, particularly with an increase in technology in the prenatal and diagnostic areas. So the GSMB is very proud to be working with all partners and all interested parties, but particularly the community and the support sector. So the GSMV connects individuals with support groups, mainly to share experiences. And by shared experiences, I mean, or I refer to the lived experience. The GSMV supports individuals, families and uh, supporters of individuals and families impacted by genetic conditions and we represent a consumer voice so it's very much a collective and a network. We advocate for all lives and we strive to educate so that decision making and choice is facil facilitated. At the GSNV, we believe that all Victorians have a right to flourish. And by flourishing, we mean that they have access to practical pathways and to things that are possible, regardless of genetic conditions and regardless of medical disability. And medical disability is something that comes into play with a lot of genetic and rare conditions. And it's something that we're increasingly aware of. The GSNV likes to consider itself as an information source. We represent a collective voice. We aim to increase knowledge and skills that inform and impact choice and decision making. And we're really all about strengthening the sector. And we want to be proactive. So proactive so that we're bringing together all the information and all the various parts of genetic health that are relevant to everyone. And that means individuals, families, and all of the support workers, clinicians, and highly skilled people that work in the sector. The GSNV works through education, advocacy, and support being our main focus. So when we deliver and when we develop our strategic plans, we focus on those three items. But advocacy is probably the most important thing that we do because it's through advocacy that we can represent a consumer voice and we can talk on behalf of the community that we represent. And that includes support groups. So our volunteer program has a really long and illustrious history. It's been around for a very, very long time. And in fact, the GSNV rests or has been built on volunteerism as part of its platform. Without volunteers, the GSNV actually wouldn't exist. And it's through volunteer programs and the generous donation of time, effort and skills that the GSNV actually got off the ground in the 90s and has continued to work since then. Volunteers have been involved in so many different activities and it's a range of duties and roles. And we're very proud that we can offer that perspective Students and volunteers have been involved in planning and assisting fundraising events, but actually involved in working and projects that is a lot more than just events. 
So there's been a lot of intellectual input into support groups, developing materials, trialing materials, surveys, and even, develop, even developing websites. So volunteering has been a really important part of the growth of support and the support sector in Victoria and indeed in Australia. Some of our volunteers have even written collateral or articles for support groups that have appeared in newsletters and even journals. And we think that's an excellent way to get messages out. So examples of participating support groups include the Australian Disorders of the Corpus Colossum or OSDOC, Leukodystrophy Australia, Gorham Syndrome Mutual Support Group, Ovarian Cancer Australia, the Aussie Hands Foundation, Syndromes Without a Name or SWAN, and Fragile X Australia. But in fact, volunteers throughout the years have volunteered to many more groups and there's been a real exchange between the support sector in Victoria and volunteers coming through the GSMB network. Our aim is to expand our outreach in the coming years. And who knows, after the COVID context and after some of the learnings that have come out of this digital environment that we're now living in, because we can't be closely located together, we might in fact be able to expand this program by offering more digital support to volunteers throughout Victoria and indeed Australia. So let's watch this space and see what happens in the, in the years and the months to come. Testimonials are a really important part of what we do. We like to receive feedback at the GSNV about the, the volunteer experience, but it's what people say that's the true essence in terms of what the experience meant for them. So take a moment to look at some of the testimonials here and to see what people have reported back to the GSNV in terms of their volunteer experience. And moving forward, we've got some comments from Venetia, Anna and Ilana. And the comments are coming from support group leaders who have received volunteers and the volunteers who have conducted the work with support groups. It's a really important exchange and that exchange uh, has been a, a very, very um, uh, prolific and it's been a really rewarding experience. The GSNV has seen relationships develop through our volunteer program, and some of those relationships have survived and endured uh, more than a few years. So we're really happy that our volunteers have often become permanent fixtures in the support sector in Victoria. So the GSNV is currently processing new volunteers, and we've had many, many support groups involved over the years. We've had probably in excess of 60 groups, but in fact, I think it's probably more than that because some support groups have come through and they've been new support groups over the decades, but then they've moved on to do other things. So I think 60 is probably just a snapshot of that volunteer exchange. There is an application process for the GSMB volunteer program, and we need you to consider all the stages of that process. Carrie, who will be uh, providing a video on how to apply, and then what happens with orientation, and all of the paperwork you need to do, will be walking you through that. It's important that you consider all of the aspects of that, and before you ask questions of Carrie, that you watch the video to make sure that you've got your checklist for your application in tow. The GSNV volunteer scheduling program this year will be run through the deputy app and Carrie will work you through on how to run that app. That assists the GSNV to get you coordinated and to get you out to support groups so that we can lock you in with your partners and we can also lock you in with the work that you need to do. So 2020 is going to offer a little bit of a different context in terms of how we run the volunteer program, but essentially none of the essence or none of the true value of the volunteer program is lost. You'll still be working with support groups. You'll be working on important projects that they need you to assist with. And in the end, there'll still be outcomes that can be beneficial for you and for the support group and the community that the support group represents. 
If you've got questions about the volunteer program, you can contact the GSMV, but make sure that you watch this video and the video provided by Carrie before you go online and ask your questions. Send us an email when you're ready to ask exactly the information that you need. The GSNV often facilitates volunteers that are coming through because they're interested in volunteering and working with support groups, but also because they're considering further study where volunteering might be an important component of that. The Master of Genetic Counselling and the Master of Genomic Health run at the University of Melbourne often requires that volunteering is part of the applications process or that you can provide evidence of volunteering. So in a way, the GSNV volunteer program has developed to support that education process. But it's been a real win for the GSNV because we've had many student volunteers, but also community volunteers come through our program and they're all very valuable to us. So thank you for considering volunteering with the GSNV. Thank you for wanting to work in the support sector and thank you for donating your time, your effort and more importantly, your skills. We hope you enjoy the experience and you know that the GSMB is not far away if you have any further questions, concerns or you'd like to feedback on what the experience has meant for you. We'll see you in 2020. Happy volunteering. Thank you.